Okay, so today we're introducing a representation which is really, really brilliant for understanding division, which is using matchsticks. And we're going to get straight into that um, as soon as the video gets started today. The thing that I want to mention is this. You might already be able to work out the answers to these questions and you might just be able to picture in your mind how many matchsticks there are and you might spend longer doing the activities after, which is fine. Equally, it might really help you to get the matchsticks out if you have them or do drawings uh, and it all makes sense when we have a look in the video and you might spend longer going through this video and actually making the questions as they're, as they're shown. Either way, it's going to give you a really brilliant grounding in the thinking that goes behind division. So it's going to be really helpful. It's going to be really enjoyable, I think, as well. Uh, you might need to find some matchsticks if you have them. Um, and let's get right into it. So unusually, there's no recap today. We're not looking at the previous work. We're just going to get straight in with our division challenge. It's going to help us to understand division, this representation. We are the matchstick makers. Um, and we're going to get right, right going. Just emphasising what I'd mentioned before, for some of you, this part of the video will be a shorter little part of today's learning um, and you might be able to do some of the calculation mentally and I'll help you to show what that looks like with the matchsticks. For others, you might want to spend time getting some matchsticks or doing a drawing um, that helps you to uncover this problem and this might take you a little bit longer. Either way is great. There's a challenge to come as well afterwards. So let's start with this. With six matchsticks, I can make, how many pentagons can you make? How many matchsticks would be left over? What about with 16 matchsticks, how many squares left over? And 16 matchsticks, how many separate triangles will you be able to make? How many left over? Pause the video, have a go. Again, you might be able to want to work that out mentally. You might do a drawing, or maybe you'll get those matchsticks and see how many you can make. Right, let's have a look. 16 matchsticks. How many pentagons? Well, you can make three whole pentagons there. Um, and how many matchsticks left over? There'd be one left over. Uh, three, um, three lots of five is 15. One more is 16. Um, what about how many squares? Well, you'll be able to make four squares and there will be none left over. Four fours are 16. Um, and what about triangles? Well, if you get five triangles, um, that will be 15 matchsticks, one left over. So you'll be able to make five triangles one left over. Okay, now our next step is this. Well, what about 19 matchsticks? How many triangles can you make? What will be left over? Squares, what will be left over? And then look at this task. With 19 matchsticks, I can make three of which shape? Um, and how many matchsticks will be left over? Is there only one shape you can use to answer this question? More than one shape? Pause the video. Have a go at those three tasks. Okay, let's have a look. Um, well, triangles. Um, well, I know that um, that six lots of three is 18. And then that one leftover matchstick, that'll be 19 matchsticks, so six triangles, one left over. Squares, 19 matchsticks. Um, well, four lots of four is 16. So that will be three left over. I've not quite made that fifth square there. Um, now, which shapes can I make three of? Well. If I'm using pentagons, then um, three lots of five is 15, and then four more, well, that'll be 19 matchsticks in total. So it could be I can make three pentagons, and there'll be four matchsticks left over. Equally, though, it could be hexagons, because it could be with 19 matchsticks, you can make three hexagons. One, two, three, lots of six is 18. One matchstick left over, making that 19. Okay. Now, I wonder if you can explain the mistake. I've seen this mistake before when I've done this activity. With 20 matchsticks, you can make five triangles. Five matchsticks are left over. Pause the video. What mistake's been made there? Well, let's have a look. Well, with 20 matchsticks, that's five triangles. One, two, three, four, five. Five lots of three is 15. There's five left over. What's wrong with that? Well, of course, I could make another triangle if I have five matchsticks left. So I would actually have six triangles and there would be two left over. I could make a triangle, let's say, with those three there. Now, have a look at this one. This is a, a little pattern for you to spot. So just this time, how many complete triangles could you make? 14 matchsticks. How many complete triangles? 28 matchsticks. How many complete triangles can you make? 
uh, pause the video and, and have a go at that again. You might do this mentally, you might use the matchsticks, um, you might do a drawing, how many can be made. Okay, well, should we have a little look? Um, 14 matchsticks. How many complete triangles? Well, I could make four complete triangles with 14 matchsticks because four lots of three is 12. There'll be two left over. 28 matchsticks. How many complete triangles? Well, actually, nine. That doesn't seem right. 14 matchsticks can make four triangles. 28 matchsticks, nine complete triangles. That's, that's not just double the amount. Well, let's have a look at this. With 14 matchsticks, I can make four complete triangles and I have two left over. So if I double this amount, I'll be able to have, I'll have the eight triangles, but then I can make another triangle with the two left over, lots of two. So in total, I'd have nine complete triangles. Nine lots of three is 27, one left over, 28. Let me just say again, using matchsticks in this way and manipulating matchsticks is such a wonderful way of introducing the thought processes that we'll need for division. It's going to really open the doors up. Uh, and again, access these tasks in different ways. Just, just do what, what's really right for you. So to find this, click on the blue link underneath the video and it will bring up, uh, you might want to have a go at task A, which is all on this first page. Um, so um, we've got here, there are three squares and two left over here with this number of matchsticks. So rearrange the same number of matchsticks and see if you can fill in the blanks there. So you could have a go at that one and the question below. Um, it could be that instead you want to have a go at either task B or task C, which again you might do with the matchsticks, so you might try and do mentally. Um, but there's uh, three or four questions, depending on which task you go for. 23 matchsticks make how many triangles with how many matchsticks left over and so on. Now, be really interested to see how you get on with the last part of task C if you attempt it. So 24 matchsticks make four um, of which shape could it be? And then how many matchsticks could be left over? Now, how many possible answers again are there for question C? Now, again, I would love to see the different creative questions that you can come up with to do with matchsticks. And again, I would love to put them on future videos. So there is another challenge for you. Um, we'll continue this thinking as always tomorrow. And it is fantastic having you involved. Thanks so long, so much for coming along. See you tomorrow.